हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार फाउंडर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो यू डोंट मिस एनी सच कॉन्सेप्चुअल वीडियोस थैंक यू सो अनदर डे आई हैड दिस चैलेंज दिस इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट दिस चैलेंज इट वाज दैट व्हाई इट इज शोइंग द डेपूज कंट्रोल एफ व्हाई इट इज शोइंग जीरो ऑफ जीरो मैचिंग नोट इवन दो द सेलेक्टर इज करेक्ट फॉर दिस एलिमेंट for this input element and then uh, like of course there was like really great answers and assumptions and the <clears throat> solution like uh, this was the challenge in multiple groups i have faced it so uh, people have uh, given their opinion and answers most of them were like absolutely correct solution and uh, and the uh, solution i would say the solution and the observation was correct but let's see the uh, explanation here so uh, here the very first one is find parent of shadow root by javascript go to inside this yes that's correct so that's a solution but here the question was the challenge was dev tools is showing zero matching count even though selectors is correct okay the first question was why why it is showing zero of zero even though the selector is correct and if dev tools control f shows the wrong results even for the correct selectors then why it is being used and suggested to write and verify x path and selectors because like i'm sure you all have heard that uh, we should not use an x path tool we should write our own x path and selectors and that means that we should use this control f and uh, like in cons uh, dev tools we should write our x path and selectors that's what we have been always taught but if you see that here it is giving zero of zero even for the correct selector then why it has never been taught why it has we have never uh, thought about this fact that it is it can also give the wrong results and wrong count then why we are using this platform even though this is giving the wrong thing so that was that was the concept test and uh, like this was the thing this was the challenge here so let's see uh, shivangi says that uh, x path but actually shivangi this x path doesn't support shadow dom so we will have to have to use the css selector or any other selector for to locate the uh, shadow dom elements so of course rahul suggested that and which is the correct thing that will not work yes it's under shadow dom uh, ulka said it's under shadow dom use javascript executor with query selector yes that's the solution that's a correct thing but uh, the question was why this here in dev tools manjunath said yes it's under shadow dom and i guess he has also given the uh, explanation which is correct thing that uh, dev tools control plus f may not work in five instances out of 100 but everyone uses it for other successful 95 instances yes absolutely correct and i'm totally agree with this and also it is easier if you find the right x path and right count it gives a good feel using dev tools so yes not fundamentally but because it's easy and straight <laughs> sometimes we found it easy and uh, like convenient and we feel it is good we feel good to use it that is the reason we are using dev tools plus f but it is not the right platform to write and verify x path and selectors then uh, luka shared the uh, one shadow dom blog fine this elements under shadow root absolutely correct nearest but what is the solution why it is showing zero rahul said like yes interesting point you made the reason may be and i am just speculating is that the testing community doesn't focus on these com complex scenarios most of the tutorial courses are repetitive which take into account normal web elements complex page elements are hard to automate and since people do not come across them so easily they go easy route given in most courses yes absolutely correct and i totally agree with that that the fact that we generally have been taught using very simple and a uh, simple application and the uh, in fact like very normal way just by using control f and command f but never been taught about the fact that uh, this also gives the wrong uh, count and wrong element matching elements sagas is unable to locate due to short shadow 
uh, below is the way which is the correct solution this is the Sagar absolutely correct solution but the problem with this that uh, I mean not problem I would say uh, the fact is that <laughs> here it is showing zero of zero which generally like because not everyone is aware about the fact that uh, shadow root this is inside shadow root because as soon as you inspect the element here and you start writing the x path I'm, I'm sure like most of us in reality is not going to scroll up and down in the dom look for the element why if it is inside iframe or shadow dom we generally like start writing x path or selector immediately here then that is start breaking that's where we start looking for some other thing and sometimes we get the more number of matching count here wrong matching count here that's where we we waste a lot of time if you see that the correct text selectors which we have written for this element this was skills here if we write same thing here in selectors sub and if we paste it here this shows the one element matching so this gives the correct count and selectors match here and also gives the information that this element is inside shadow dom and lot other information yes uh, i agree that this sounds like uh, uh, promoting my own tool and unfortunately i'm the creator of selectors hub so i'm telling this the, but the fact is that yes this is the only platform and solution that where you can verify selectors of like which are inside nested shadow dom multiple shadow dom or shadow dom open closed everything you will get the information from here and in fact like if you go to console and directly the way you verify uh, selectors if you verify in that way you will not get the result you are getting here this uh, as a null and blank result even though this is a correct selector yes i agree that yes in the we can write the javascript javascript executor and that way you could get the answers for that but yes agree but the standard way what i'm trying to convey here that by very if you verify selectors in a standard way the way you verify css selector and x path you will not get always the correct answer and the correct result basically correct matching count in dev tools like control f or you go for console in uh, regarding zero dom so i hope you would have understood that what is the right platform and uh, how you can get the right information of selectors which will give you the right count of selectors match so uh, please spread about these concepts about these fundamental uh, misconception which we never discussed which we never learned we have always kept saying that we should not use an xpath plugin but we never discussed that we should also not use control plus f because that also gives the wrong count so please understand this concept that what is the right platform what is the right way of verifying xpath and selectors which kind of selectors which kind of xpath will support it by uh, what kind of selectors will be supported by shadow dom elements how to verify how to use it in our automation script and all so uh, and you if you want to learn more about these you can check out my uh, udemy course here you can also if you want to learn take my live training you can uh, register here under this live training program and if you want you can take the uh, take my udemy course to understand deep concepts about selectors xpath and all and a lot more information here in uh, website is all the information given so you can just check it out it this will really help you guys a lot with that thank you thank you so much please like and share this video and let others know about these fundamental concepts thank you thank you so much guys